basically what we are going to do today is to create an anime avatar in Vroid. Uh, we are going perhaps if we want to customize some textures uh, through Unity and also through other external software like Photoshop and then um, basically the, the reason for going to Unity is because it's one of the methods to export this avatar as an FBX okay in order to be animated later in Maya so there will be another simple method that we can try as well so any of those methods uh, would do our studio uh, is a very simple program so you don't really need to install at least not in this version so you just load that So we'll see here, there are different uh, characters, there are predefined characters. So a simple way to do this is just going here, just selecting one of the characters and start customizing that. So you can, uh, you know, any time have a look at the, uh, you know, the different uh, positions and all this. But it's basically it's just playing around. Okay, so I'm going to put the speed five uh, five times or something like that. Okay. So don't worry so much about the colors because. Uh, we are going to be able to change that later uh, in Unity. What I'm going to do here is to change uh, um, something about the um, uh, the shape of the of the hair because yeah, I think I would like to try something more with squid. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more pretty. Hair is really, really useful tool. It's man. Many people, as you might know, use the the software only to do this hair anime cartoonistic style, which is something very useful. You know, you can export that as an object as well. Modify slightly the old line. To do a little more cartoonistic. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. I think. Uh, ring light. I'm going to get rid of that. Both in hair and body. Uh, body. Because I want that to be a little more flat. Okay, maybe it's not the same for this, but as I say, it's just to your own, uh, to do your own taste. Okay, eyes closing. Okay, spring bone refers to the. Uh, to the physics of the hair and the and the clothes and all this, I think so. Sh shouldn't change that. I mean, don't worry so much about that. So, exporting is interesting to have a look at here to see that your avatar is behaving properly. Okay. 
yeah apart from that no I wouldn't change anything of this you know okay not going to add any post effect or anything just going to export and exporting is going to include uh, basically all the mess uh, the hair the, the skeleton okay I don't think includes the animations honestly I'm not very sure but I, I think it doesn't because I never used them in unity so uh, you don't need to simplify don't think there is any point in, simplifi in simplifying here just export the information here you know okay so this is the information about you know the rights and the licenses and all this I mean this is for no commercial use so I wouldn't care so much about that in my particular case but you might need to uh, do some research if you want to use this in another context okay so going to rename that as Susu White is that my character and uh, I'm going to recall here I have here a previous version I'm going to do that version 4 at this you need to go to unity back at uh, this one okay the uni DRM so you find that and in downloads you can download the last version okay it's very very light one just you just need the first one and it's this one and if you go to unity you just need to drag it to assets okay you import everything yeah why not Okay, you have here a folder so what you have to do is to drag it to assets literally and it guess it's importing that so this will create a prefab you see here it's a prefab already and this prefab uh, includes the skeleton and the uh, and the avatar and all this uh, change any information and um, what else oh yeah you can, we can change the textures as well so if you go to uh, the materials and you go to uh, the original uh, folder in explorer we can navigate to textures and here in textures we have uh, you know these are the, the textures we we're using in the model so we can for example edit so i'm going to change for example the color of this one but just as an example Okay, so here, uh, just something very simple. Uh, changing here to green and something like that. I think it, it would do. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Of course, you can do something more sophisticated if you want, but 
with that, I think it would be already a significant change. Just going to save that. And if you go here, delete change very fast. Uh, it wouldn't be the same with all the things, like for example, the color of the hair, because uh, the color of the hair, if you go to the texture here, you see that it's, it's using this normal map, okay, and uh, all the different parameters. So in relation to the texture, what you can do is, is just change the color of this. So we can do something more animesque if you want. I think that's, that's nice. So in order to be able to export this to Maya, we need to uh, install the FBX exporter. So you have to go here to, um, uh, sorry, it is in Windows, yes, Package Manager. So here in Packages, you have to be sure that it has all packages and uh, so preview packages as well. And then you go to FBX exporter and then you install that. So you just export to FEX. Okay. So SUSU Y4. I don't know why I could never change this to another uh, folder, but it doesn't matter. It's very easy to find. I use binary. I'm not exporting uh, the animations, okay, so only the model, okay, or levels local center, and that's, that should do. Okay, the thing is, another method to do this, and I'm going to copy this one to uh, my models, okay. So another way to do this is you change this. You go here to Susu White. So you rename this to GLB in caps. It's important. It's caps. I don't know why. Okay. And you click twice. And this is uh, the model as exported from the B-Roid, which is not uh, not a bad option as well. So uh, a way to do that, uh, then you go to menu and then you go save as and you select 3D model. And then here you can transform that into FBX. Oops, not here, models. I really recommend the other method to do it through Unity because in my experience you might have some problems in a scale the model in Maya if you don't use the Unity if you use uh, this uh, method using um, the 3D paint the skeleton is not important I'm going to rig it myself later I don't recommend to keep the skeleton from the Unity model but in terms of the scaling, I think it's better to use Unity. Okay, so that's all. Uh, I hope you find that useful. We'll try to animate this in Maya later. Uh, we'll do, I'll do another video as well uh, in, in relation to how to animate this in, in Unity. But uh, I think uh, the purpose of the exercise is, is very clear and I hope you find that useful. Just let me know if you have any problem uh, doing the exercise. If you find a better method to do something, let me know. Any comment on the versions. Let's try to, to uh, have uh, very clear uh, if this method is still valid, if it's not, you know. Just try to make this useful. Okay, thank you very much.